Okay, J2, I'm going to talk you through a graphic score that you are creating by looking at a picture and going over the lines. Now you can see I've started it here. Um, up at the top, there was a great big ball of light and I've colored that in because I think it's a really interesting musical idea. You do not need to copy every single line. I don't actually want this to be a picture at the end. I just want it to be a set of lines. Now, obviously you can see that we've got a lot of lightning in this picture. Um, some of the lines are different thicknesses. So you've got this one here, which is really, really thick, but again, it changes. So it starts with this ball at the top, then it gets a bit thinner, then it gets a bit thicker again before it gets thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner to the end. Some of them are pretty thin already. Think about the direction that these are heading. You might want to put an arrow on to show that they're going down. Look at this, it's going across. Okay, you've got a tiny little line up at the top here. Just a tiny little line that you might want to add in. You do not need to go over them all. Then I want you to look at what else there is. So here we've got some cloud. Okay, and again, I'm not copying around the whole thing. I'm just finding bits that I think look interesting. I want you to think about whether these lines are legato lines, so they're smooth lines that maybe follow right the way through, like that, or whether they're more staccato lines. Do you have some lines that you think, oh, these are more like dots, especially up here, maybe some of these are like dots, okay? There's quite an interesting line going on along here, okay? All right, now I'd like you to take a good amount of time over this, really have a good look and a good think about what you are getting from your picture. Okay, now, when you've done that, I'd like you to look at it and think about what the difficult mus different musical ideas that you're getting it from it are. So the first thing I'd like you to think about is the dynamics. What do you think these lines, and only the lines, not the rest of the picture, just the lines, what are they telling you about the dynamics? Now on this one, I would say that the, the ball at the top is fortissimo, really, really loudly, but then it has a diminuendo, okay? And you can even mark it on fortissimo, and you can mark on a diminuendo, but then this bit here might be a crescendo. So you might want to mark it on even like that. Then a crescendo before it diminuendos again and gets quieter. Okay, so you might want to mark on a diminuendo just like that. Then you might have you might have something here that is piano and you have to so you might think this is piano, it's getting louder here. Okay, so you might want to mark in a crescendo to forte here, okay? Similarly, you are going to think about the tempo. What does this tell you about the tempo? Is it fast or slow? Are there some elements which are quick, are some elements that are less quick? Have a little look. Now, I think in here that the, the, the lightning looks to me like it's fast, okay? So fast lightning. Okay, we can't see the thunder, so you are not going to put that into your composition. You're not going to even plan it, okay? Think about the lightning. However, in the background, you've got these clouds. What sort of a tempo do you think the clouds are? And I would say that this line is a very long, smooth line. I would say that they're probably quite slow, maybe a little bit rumbly in the background. Okay, similarly the pitch. Have a little look at this, the pitch. Where is your lightning heading? It is descending, isn't it? It's going down. So I would say descending. So if you have an instrument where you could play descending scales, that would be a really good thing. Um, something else that you might want to think about that I haven't actually written on here is the articulation. All right, so again, I've put, I've decided that the cloud is legato. But there are bits of this lightning here that are staccato. Okay, now, do not trace and go over every single line. You are not trying to create a picture, but you're doing a graphic score. It's a piece of music which is written using lines. So what you do on here is really important, but I do not want a whole picture from you, my lovelies. I need you to be inventive and creative with this. Okay, thank you.